Let's talk about the chain rule. The chain rule is what we use to differentiate a compound function. That's when we have a function of a function. And the idea is we're going to have some outermost function and an inner function. And at first, we differentiate the outer function as if the inner function were a variable. And then we differentiate the inner function with the variable that we actually want. So here's an idea. My function is the cosecant of x squared plus sine x. I know how to differentiate cosecant of x, but I'm not so sure how to differentiate cosecant of this function. But I notice it's a compound function. I can just use the chain rule. I know that the derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant cotangent. Now, if the thing in the box, my inner function, if that were just x, the derivative of cosecant of x is minus cosecant of x cotangent of x. So this is how I start. But the thing in the box is not actually my variable. It's x squared plus sine x. So now what I have to do is I have to multiply this by the derivative of the thing in the box. The derivative of x squared is 2, and the derivative of sine x is cosine x. Let's do a harder example of the chain rule. Let's say my function is cosine of the square root of x all to the fifth. Well, it's a little harder here to pick out my outside function, but notice I can rewrite this as something to the power 5, cosine of the square root of x to the power 5. So this is my compounding function. x to the 5 is my outside function, but I'm not taking x to the 5, I'm taking cosine of the square root of x to the 5. If I were taking x to the 5, the derivative would be 5x to the 4th, but I'm not, I have this box, so now I have to multiply by the derivative of the thing in the box. So now what we have to do is find the derivative of cosine of the square root of x. This isn't something you might know the derivative of right away, but if I need to find the derivative, I notice this too is a compound function. If I just had cosine of x, my derivative would be minus sine of x. But x wasn't exactly my variable, the square root of x's. So in order to complete finding the derivative of cosine square root of x, I have to multiply by the derivative of the square root of x. Now remember, the square root of x is the same as x to the 1 half. So its derivative is 1 half x to the minus 1 half. I bring down the 1 half as a coefficient, and then I subtract 1 from the power.